days before a Livingston Parish grand jury is set to meet to decide if a deputy who killed a woman will be criminally charged. Her family is speaking out, calling her death and the subsequent lack of information a cover up. The investigative unit in Chris Nakamoto spoke to the victim's mom and has new details on the investigation. Michael, Melissa Allen says her daughter's death will not be in vain, and she pledges to fight for justice for her until it's served. She wants to see a deputy held accountable for killing her after slamming into her car this summer. Melissa Allen's grief is palpable as she talks about her daughter, 33 year old Christina Este, affectionately known by her friends and family as Sissy. We all love you. We all miss you more than words can say. And baby, none of us are the same. May you spread your wings and just soar. We love you. Allen's so distraught over the nightmare she's been put through since her daughter's death. People are terrified to come forward. She's demanding the truth from the Livingston Parish Sheriff's Office and others who have released few details pertaining to the wreck that killed her daughter as she drove on Range Avenue. Cameras were rolling by witnesses that showed the deputy's car smashed into the one he hit. And I don't see no skid marks in the road whatsoever. Slamming into this Saturn that's nearly unrecognizable. The deputy crashing into it at a high rate of speed. That cop just wasn't paying no attention at all. Responding to a call. And there had to be a full blown on hit. The sheriff's office not forthcoming with information at all. Since the crash, Allen says she's heard nothing from Livingston Sheriff Jason Ard or the deputy who killed her daughter. Yes, I still pray for you, but no, I will never forgive you. I will not forgive the lies. I will not. Forgive what you've done to this family, and I will not forgive the people that's helped cover everything up. Allen says she met with the district attorney's office this week and is hoping for an indictment against the deputy who killed her daughter. The WBRZ investigative unit has been trying to get information from the Livingston Parish Sheriff's Office about the deputy involved. They won't release it, but the family says they were told exactly what happened to him. He got a citation. And he got three days suspension, a citation for, um, let's see, no seat belt. Three day suspension, wreck. Tonight, Allen calls that a slap in the face, along with information she's learned that the deputy involved did not try to get help for her dying daughter. Officer did not get help there, period. Public had to ask them if they needed help. They called while they were holding my daughter's leg, trying to pray for her and saying, baby, it's going to be okay. To add insult to injury, she says if the roles were reversed, the outcomes would have been different. And she believes it's time for favoritism to stop. Oh, honey, we would be, uh, if I would have hit you, killed you, never used my brakes. No evidence of me trying to stop, and you're over. T you hit them so hard going 80 si 87 miles an hour plus, and you still go past two football fields? Do you really think I would not have something done? Do you really think I'd be walking the streets? This case is heading to a grand jury Tuesday. We're told they could be looking at negligent homicide or other charges tied to the wreck. The sheriff's office has not responded to our follow-up questions, including information about the deputy's discipline. A stay leaves behind four children. Michael.